Making your teammates feel great about their work. An important part about you as a teammate is how you make people around you feel. Uh, around you might be on Slack, it might be in Zoom meetings, but it's important to make your team members feel like they're doing really good work. There are some cases where you have to ask for clarification or you have to ask people to do things or follow up on their work. And an important thing in making them feel good about their work is assuming the best intentions. So let's say you have to ask someone to finish a mock-up that you need for work. Now, they might be on three or four projects and they're probably really busy juggling a lot of work already. So you assume the best intentions that they're working on it and you thank them for their work so far if that applies on the issue and then you ask them for some specific points. So thanks a lot for your great work on this design. The details look really good. Could you please help with finishing this part of it or could you please help in giving some specifics in this area? So you're making them look good when you make a comment on the ticket. You're not asking like for them to correct something. You're not asking them to do work that you're assuming they just didn't do. But you're making them feel good and look good around other people and at the same time asking for what specifically you need. I think this is a really good mark of a great developer to work with. It's one thing to just write good code, but it's also important to make the people around you feel really good about their work. Also on code reviews, I like to do this. I'll try to give people more confidence in their code, especially if I don't know the answer to something. Instead of saying, you should have this function, sometimes I'll just ask, would this be more appropriate? So it's not making a statement, it's just asking them how they feel about something. Also, it's important to give people attribution for their work and to give people thanks in a genuine way as much as possible. So especially if someone has done a lot of work, like there are a lot of designs they worked on, a lot of issues, thank them for all the details they've put into it first and then ask a question or push back on something if you need to. Like in a recent meeting, I had to push back on whether we could deliver at a certain time and all the new features. So I was specifically thinking about thanking the person for all the work, which deserved thanks. There was a lot of work going on, but at the same time, I had to say my piece, which is a need to be sure that we can deliver on time in this. I used to, go to a music school and I had a great professor, Dr. Bob Lark. He always used to say we play and make each other sound good. So doing good work in isolation isn't really enough. You have to play to make your other developers sound good. Make everyone feel good about the work they're doing. And a big part of that is assuming from the beginning the best intentions, which almost always is the case anyway, but it's a better place to come from where you're assuming they are doing their best work and you're just asking for a specific thing also. So you're making people around you feel great about their work. It makes everyone around you happier. And another nice benefit is it makes you much happier as well.